Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to take a look at how we are going to test the conditional rendering of a component using the React Test and Library. So over on my left hand side, I have a small app which is showing a button called Upload and then there is a progress bar. So in effect, what it means that so I have a button when I clicked on it, it performs an asynchronous event, which will then render the progress bar. When it's done, it will get rid of it. So this is the entire uh, application that we are going to test. So my right hand side, I've already written the skeleton of the test. So let's not waste too much time and go into it. Okay, so the first test is to show a button for asynchronous action. So we want to see that this button over here does exist in the, in the document. So we're going to expect, sorry, expect the screen and get by row the button. So in this case, there is no need for me to add specificity or more specific details to this particular um, search because it's just only one button. If we wanted more, we could add the upload text to it as well. But this is fine for now. So to be in the document. So let's run the test and it passes. Very simple. For that test is very simple. Okay. So let's move on to the other test. Should not show progress bar when not loading. As you can see from the app component, the progress only shows if the loading is true, right? So if loading is false as in was in this state right now, then the progress should not show. But how do we test this case? So let's go to our test and let's add this. So expect that we are going to use the get by row and use the progress bar because uh, it's a progress bar, right? So get by row, then not to be in the document. So let's test and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, it says that it's unable to find an element with a progress bar, which is true. There should be no element in the document right now but the case here is that the get by row enforces that the document the element must exist in the document no matter what right so in order to check for states where the element may or may not be available in the document there is another function that we can use which is provided by the react testing library which is called Query by row. So let's change that to query. Sorry. So query by row does the exact same thing as get by row with the exception that it can actually provide a null value. So the element can not be in the document and then to search and not throw an error as where the get by row does throw an error. So let's save that. And now it passes right so we can use the query by in place of the get by row where we want to actually test a component not existing in the document right. and the query by has the exact same set of function functionalities as the get by so get by text get by id a test id get by uh, title all those things can also be done the same for the query by so that's it for the test now moving on to the last test is to should show a progress bar when loading so if we check the app so we know that the progress bar must be rendered onto the page when we perform the asynchronous event so let's get rid of the to do let's move on to other test 
Okay. So, first things first, we need to actually trigger the asynchronous event to occur before we can perform the accession that we want to. So, to do that, we are going to use the user event, which is a, a library that is provided by the React Testing Library. Then we are going to call the click event. And what do we want to click on? We want to click on the button. So we click on the button. Now, let's run this and let's see what Jest tells us. So as you can see, it throws and uh, it's saying that the test is passing, but it's throwing a warning because there are states updates. We are doing multiple states updates over here, which is fine, which is actually what we want. So in order to resolve this, we need to wait for all the state updates to be done before we perform any accession that we want to. To do that, uh, as in the previous video, we use the wait for function, which is provided by React Test and Library, to wait for all state updates to be done, then to then perform what our sessions. So wait for. So what are we going to wait for? We want to wait for the progress bar to be shown onto the screen because we know that at that point, when the event is clicked on, the progress bar will be shown to the screen and afterwards it will not be shown. So let's go over here. So we expect the screen has the uh, progress bar and should be in the document. And this requires this to be an asynchronous score. So a wait. Therefore, we need to make this an asynchronous function. Okay. So let's test this and see what happens. So the test is passing, which is awesome. So it noticed that the progress bar was shown in the document where when the event was clicked. So what if we actually do not um, show the progress, uh, we do not set the load and what happens then? So the test fails. So this actually ensures that the progress bar does uh, shows up one point in time in the document uh, when the loading does care. So bring that back. And let's run the test again. So basically that's it. So in this video, we took a look at the query by row and is use cases that what we can use it for and how to actually do some assertions using the wait for. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to take a look at more interesting ways we can perform the wait for uh, accession or the wait for test. Okay, so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.